How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Cub Fans Minecraft. And today, guys, we are going to head out to the arena, and we're going to do a little mob battle out here. Whoops, I accidentally shot two there. No worries. Oh, unfortunately, we didn't get it exactly right that time around, but let's try this one. Hopefully, we can get this one correct. Again, two. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, yes. <laughs> nice. We saw one of them bounce. That was cool. <laughs> Alright, sweet. So, yeah, we're going to get out here to the arena. I'm actually going to go ahead and drink a potion of invisibility. You see I'm bringing out some, some gold swords. We already got some zombies up and ready to battle. Here they are. And a skeleton. An armored skeleton. Even though we've seen that those guys don't really... Don't really do too much. Yeah, there's one zombie sort of bobbing up and down there. I'm going to take off my armor here. So I'm totally invisible. I don't think they are tracking me. Oh, no, they are tracking me. Okay. Let me go ahead and put down some golems. Let's see. How many how many golems or how many zombies do we have here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven zombies, eight zombies, and a skeleton. Okay. So let's take a look at our book up here, see what we need to put in. I want to try and make these these battles as even as possible. I know I've said for a while I need to just, you know, run a bunch of tests here, like in a live stream or something. Let me just drop off my armor and we'll drop off all these gold swords. Okay, so let's see. Um, book and quill. Okay, so six versus two, zombies one. Six versus three, zombies one. Nine versus seven, golems one. Eight zombies and one skeleton versus seven iron golems. Golems one with six. Okay, so this is basically the same uh, situation here with the skeletons and zombies. So let's try four golems. Seems about right. Six versus four golems. So maybe yeah. Let's try. Let's try four, and we'll give zombies um, strength as well. Yeah. Well, we'll just we'll just have it a straight up battle this time. Let's say, uh, yeah, that should be good. All right, so let me get the golems up here. Uh, so we'll just go over here and make these. You have to make the first two, unfortunately, because this can't like kick them out afterwards. I guess you could make a system like that, but uh, let's see over here. Nice, yeah. Here we go. There's one. There's two. All right, now we got to move these guys out of here. And get on out. There we go. Get on out. Perfect. Okay, we'll make two more. We can do this part automatically, but sometimes they don't like. They don't want to leave this area for some reason. Like wherever they're made, they want to stick in that same area. Oh, except for that guy who who obviously yeah. does. Okay, so we will get these guys out of here. They're into the battle arena. They are tracking the golems now, it looks like. Yep, okay, good. That's what we want to see. Close these, just in case. All right, so we are ready. Um, right, so, uh, what happened to the other golem? Is he in? Oh, he's in there, isn't he? Yeah, he's, come on out, guy. There you go, okay. Let's get up here. Okay, we're going to close that there we go so four golems against eight zombies and one skeleton take your bets take your bets now because this battle is going to start in three two one now or not that's the that's the cards what am i doing <laughs> what am i doing okay here we go three two one go there we go yeah skeletons are dumb they don't they don't even move Unfortunately, okay, okay. Zombies are attacking in two groups. One zombie down. Golems are still holding strong. They're all ganging up on one golem now. One golem down. Two zombies left. They're spawning reinforcements around the stadium. And the golems have won. That is it. They won with three remaining. Wow. And there's, yeah, there's reinforcements coming in from everywhere. Look at the baby zombie going. <laughs> wow. He's still trying to get to him. Now he stopped for some reason. He sees all his friends are dead. 
except for the skeletons who are yeah they don't they're staring down oh 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 here we go nope skeletons fighting back now is this a bug with golems he's not charging there's this is a standoff good old-fashioned Mexican standoff right here let's let's see how this plays out oh skeleton yeah he's still going he's still going he can't get. He can't, oh, both of them are firing now. This the skeletons might win it just by default. He's making some progress, but there's two skeletons there. They're firing in sequence, one right after the other. It might take him down here. He's taking a lot of damage. Well, this is not how I expected this to go at all. And Gollum down. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm gonna let this play out here, guys. I'm gonna see what happens here. Oh, skeleton. Skeleton, they both see him now. Here we go. This is it. Will the golems prevail? Oh, they're in They're in the actual... Yeah, they're actually inside of the uh, zombie cage there. And skeleton got teamed up from behind. Well done, golems. Oh, snap. I guess... I guess he saw me. Okay. Well, anyway. Yeah, good battle. Good battle. Alright guys, so there is the battle log here. The golems one with two remaining. We're going to close that. Plop this back down in here. Going to also go ahead and put our armor back on. And we are going to hit the golems win button. Some fireworks. And the banner, or the, uh, the beacons all changed. So that is pretty cool. Also played a little bit of a chime. And we have to, of course get the scoreboard updated so it was a 4-4 tie between the the zombies and the golems but now golems have slightly pulled ahead with five so we got five to four now in favor of the golems so still pretty even matchup really it all depends how the zombie ai attacks it seems at least that's what it seems like to me like i said i need to just have a huge testing session where i just test this over and over and over and over again but anyway yeah, good battle today, guys. So, um, let's go ahead and head back. Uh, I'm going to actually dump off this iron here. So, let me dump this off down here. Because this is what I have to use to make the uh, armor and stuff like that once it breaks. Because it does take some pretty big damage with these golems beating down these zombies. So, uh, we're going to dump this off. And then we're going to head over to Zerzera. Zera, and I want to show you a few things. And we'll get started on some projects over there. Alright everyone, so as you know, last episode we built the beginnings of the archery range and we built sort of like a specific uh, theme for each sort of section. So we have, you know, the snowy slash ice section over there, another section here, grasslands here, and you can see the third section looming in the distance. That is the end section. Um, so let me show you that. It's pretty interesting how it works. Uh, my bow is about to break, so this is kind of pressure situation here. I gotta make a good shot. Let's just make our way across this bridge here. Hopefully we can make it. There we go. Yep. Okay, we made it. Sweet. So, uh, yeah, the end section. So, I built this during the live stream on Saturday. Thanks to all you who made it to that. And, yeah, the idea here is, yeah, it basically simulates the new end. So, you're going to have obsidian pillars surrounding you. Uh, and then you have to shoot these targets up here. If I can hit these targets. Hopefully I can. There it is. Once you do, you see... Boom, it explodes just like the end crystals up there. And it's actually very simple how it works. Let me see if I can get up there. Uh, hopefully I can make a good pearl toss here. About there, maybe? Hopefully. Yeah, okay, here we go. Perfect. Yeah, so this is what is actually up here that simulates that explosion of the end crystal. Um, so we just basically have... Yeah, you can see that's still on over there. So anytime you hit these buttons... Uh, TNT will dispense from the dispenser, and then, yeah, it explodes in water, so it doesn't do any damage, of course. Uh, and then the, the lamp lights up, and it'll stay lit until the arrow despawns, so that's a pretty, uh, pretty cool way to sort of do it. And then we have to uh, put down, of course, some end stone down here. Uh, and yeah, these are all actually real obsidian. Took quite some, some mining in the, in the end, as you saw last time, to get that, but... Um, yeah, we had just about enough for these uh, these towers and everything, but we still have a lot of end stone uh, that we have to put down. So we have to actually go mine some more in the end to get some end stone. And I also just want to get some obsidian just to have it. Uh, 
because it takes a while to mine and I don't want to keep moving the beacon. So we'll go mine some more obsidian and some endstone here. And we'll finish up this section. We also need to make the dock here so we can sort of stand in the middle of this lake. Um, and yeah, it's, it, I think it's looking pretty good so far. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go to the end get some stuff. And we'll do some uh, some terraforming in this section. So before we go to the end, we're going to actually go ahead and celebrate a milestone in the world. We are getting very close to day 6,000. So we're at day 5,989 right now. And I thought it would be a good idea to go ahead and make some fireworks. So we have a bunch of fireworks in my inventory and some more back at the base. And we're going to go ahead and fill up our fireworks dispenser or our fireworks uh, display mechanism here. So we're just going to dump off a few of these in here. Put about five or six in each one. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and have a little fireworks show. So I'll see you guys at day 6,000 here when we have... Yeah, everything all set and ready to go. So the sun has just set, night has fallen, and it's time to celebrate 6,000 in-game days. So I do have an invisibility potion on right now, by the way, and all my armor is off, so hopefully I don't have any surprises from mobs or anything. But uh, you can see now we are at day 5,999. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and start this fireworks celebration here. There we go. Nice. Nice. We did make this a little bit quicker, so we should see... Yeah, it go a little bit faster, and then it should have a big grand finale. But yeah, I got a good, ar good array of colors here, I think. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, here comes the grand finale right there. There'll be some stragglers as well. But there we go. Yeah, one one straggler. <laughs> All right, cool. Fantastic. All right, so 6,000 in-game days, guys. That's awesome. Anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and now head on over to the end. We need to get some end stone, and once I do that, I will be back. Alright everyone, so you can see we got the end section done now, and we put down a lot of end stone all the way around this lake, and a little bit beyond the uh, the towers, and I think it's looking pretty good. I think it I think it turned out well. I kept most of the trees around here, and yeah, also built this little dock here, so this kind of like, uh, yeah, is meant that you can like go out on it, and then try and shoot down some of the targets. Let's see if I can, oh yeah, first time, baby. So yeah, you can, you can hit pretty much these these three targets here fairly easily from the dock but the other two targets this one and this one are a little bit trickier to hit from down here so I left this middle area open here and the idea is that you can you know step backwards a little bit and hit them from here because you need a little bit of extra space to hit these tall ones but yeah I like this area and now it's time to move on to the next area um, also by the way I did I did put some endstone in the lake too for added effect so that makes it look a little bit better. But time to move on to the next section. So let's go over the plan for the rails here. So I think what we're going to do, obviously this is the start here. And then once we get to this, this river here, we're going to build a small bridge across here. Uh, the bridge will go over kind of a big ravine ever so slightly. Yeah, it'll go right over this. So it'll probably end up, the, uh, the track will probably come in like right there on that block. And then once it gets to here... Uh, it'll just go straight and follow this cobblestone path for a little bit. Then it'll turn left and then turn right right here. Now, we decided on the stream on Saturday to make this area an Egyptian theme. So we're going to keep the desert biome. And we will also build like a pyramid here, like a really small pyramid. 
out of like sandstone and uh, probably like a gold block or something on top. And then the next target will be here, so you'll have to hit this target while moving laterally across right there, basically. Uh, or, you know, moving upward up this hill a little bit. And then we're going to have also, keeping with the Egyptian theme, a small sphinx right here. So we're going to use the creeper blocks and sandstone uh, to make this little sphinx. It'll go till about here or so, so it'll probably cut off here. And then once you exit the back of the Sphinx, you'll have to go over this slime block. And that'll launch you up and over this small lake. And then you will land on the other side right here and sort of come down this down slope. Then you're going to be turning right here. Uh, and then you'll have another target to hit there. And you'll follow this dirt path. So you make a left here. Uh, there'll be another target there that you can hit. Got to be careful not to fall here. There are some holes. Uh, another target there, like I said, uh, and then you come down this hill, and down this hill is the final target, which is going to be right there on that andesite block, or uh, basically it'll be in the air above the andesite block. And then you come down here, and this is the end. So this is where you'll hop off, and you're back pretty much where you started at the, uh, the archery range area here. So yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> Beware of archers, yeah. Got to be careful not to be hit by uh, an errant arrow or something. Anyway, that's the plan, so uh, time to make it happen. Uh, the other thing we need to do also is we need to make a path that sort of comes down and goes to each of these um, cobblestone wall sections where the archers actually stand. So the archers will stand here and shoot at the, uh, the targets. So we got to make a path of some sort, sort of following, following the edge here, I would say. Um, but yeah. That's, that's all we have left to do for the archery range, and I'm looking forward to testing it out. So let's go ahead and do some more work here and make this come to life, and then we'll try her out. All right, everyone, so we are just about done with this sphinx here. We're just going to put some finishing touches on it. We're going to put some blue stained clay around the side to make it more Egyptian-like. And I think it turned out okay. Uh, we still have a lot to do on the interior, but it is getting a little bit late. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and put these down here, and there we go. Let's go ahead and get on down, take a look at what it looks like from afar. So, there we have it, right there. There's our Sphinx. Let me try and get a little closer so you can see it. So we got the paws coming down. Maybe I should put, like, stairs in the front here, perhaps. Yeah, I think that looks better. Yeah, and we'll build it up a little bit little bit here like that I think is good maybe one more right there yeah okay I think it's looking pretty good and if you notice the eyes are lamps so what I plan to do is eventually we're gonna have a detector rail right here uh, and that will light up the lamp so as you come around this this turn the the uh, sphinx eyes will light up so that'll be really cool um, also, I'll just show you here real quick. I'll show you here that this does indeed work when you go through it. I haven't put anything on the interior yet, but I will. So we'll put stuff in here as well. And yep, you get launched out, out the back side of the Sphinx. The Sphinx kind of like poops you out, basically. There's a little gap up at the top there. But I think it looks okay. I think it looks okay right now. Yeah, let me know what you guys think, but, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna go with this. We'll put some cool stuff on the inside. Some people suggested mobs, like, named mobs in here. That could be kind of cool. Like, you go through here, or maybe there's lava in here. Like, maybe there's lava surrounding you or something. That would be also pretty cool. But, um, yeah. Yeah, looking, looking not too bad, not too bad. Alright, everyone, so I'm just out here updating the maps, and besides the Sphinx over there, we also got the other targets all put up, so they are ready to go. Uh, the only things we have left to do, I want to make some more like little pyramids like this. Um, maybe make them a little bit different design. And also put like a few little statues, like maybe I'll make the Egyptian sun god Ra, or Anubis or something, like a small Anubis statue around here. Um, just to sort of fit with the Egyptian theme and make it so that it's not quite as, as blank as the desert is right here. Um, so yeah, I'll do that, and we also need to make the the practice range right here so that it's like a warm-up area uh, before you go out to the actual archery range and then of course the path I also need to do the path down the side here that we can run down so 
It's getting very close to completion, guys, but uh, right now I'm going to head back to the house, see what this looks like on the big map. Alright, so let's take a look here. So here's the sort of city center of Zerzera. Zera. Here's the archery range start right here. We have the snow biome area right there. This is the nether area right here. Grasslands is this super green area. And then if I lower myself one, we can see the dilapidated bridge there. The end area here, so this is all end stone and the obsidian towers right here. Uh, and then you see the minecart line here going through the sphinx, which is right under my cursor. And then it continues on back to the, the start there. So that's what we got so far. Pretty big area that the archery range covers, but I think it's going to be really awesome once it's totally done. We're getting there, almost done with it. I know it's taking quite some time, but it is a large area of the world we have to terraform. Um, so yeah, I hope to have that done for next time. Let's go down here and eat some cake real quick. Um, also, I just want to uh, quickly remind you guys there will be a live stream on Wednesday, which is tomorrow. Uh, or actually it could be today for some of you who are viewing this and it's gonna be a Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Time we're gonna be playing super ultra hardcore Minecraft which is um, basically a game mode where you have stuff like lava oceans you can't regenerate health naturally only through eating golden apples and also there's other constraints like um, ores are no longer found at certain levels so you can't just mine down to 16 strip mine to get diamond you actually have to go out and act actively search for it. Uh, but that will be at 7 o'clock p.m. on twitch.tv slash cubfan135. And I'll also upload it to the second channel, Cubfan Games. And links for those are in the description. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Cubfan. Goodbye.